Hi, my name is Amanda Gustin. I'm the Public Program Manager at the Vermont Historical Society, and today I'm going to share with you one of my new favorite objects from our collection. So what I have in my hands is a coin. It's a really light coin, and it's a really weird coin <laughs> as well. Uh, so this coin represents uh, something interesting, I think, in, that, in the idea of innovation, that innovation is not always about a thing. It's not always about a specific invention that moves us forward. Sometimes it's about an idea. So this coin was invented by a man named Dana Bickford. Uh, Bickford was born in Queechee, Vermont, back when Queechee was an absolute hotbed of innovation and mills and industry. And he listed himself in various censuses as an entrepreneur or an inventor throughout his entire life. His biggest success, his biggest commercial success, was with uh, the Bickford knitting machine, which was an early automatic machine that you would sort of crank along and it would knit you a sock. So you didn't have to have any actual knitting ability to make your own socks. Eventually, Bickford moved to New York and he uh, had enough money by this point that he spent uh, several months traveling Europe. And while he was in Europe, he was intensely frustrated at the idea that each time he crossed an international border, he had to exchange his currency. Bickford came home from Europe, uh, this was in the 1890s, and he decided that he was going to fix this problem. And he developed uh, the idea for and then had minted the coin that I'm holding here today, uh, Bickford's Universal Currency. He had physically printed on the coin itself uh, that amount of value per country. Not really that much of a problem in the 1890s when monetary policy wasn't fluctuating nearly as much as it does today, where the exchange rate could remain stable for quite some time. The coin has quite a lot of writing on it. You can see that, for example, on the back, it says, this combination coin will, when adopted, be good in all nations, heal all differences between gold and silver men, and fully settle all financial questions. Those are some lofty claims for a simple coin. Uh, gold and silver men. If you remember your US history, uh, you may remember that in the 1890s, the question of whether the United States should hold to a gold standard or a silver standard was absolutely a hot topic of the day, not something we really think of as a pressing issue now. But Bickford had high hopes that not only would this solve international currency difficulties, it would solve domestic difficulties and, you know, settle all financial questions, all of them, with, the, with this simple coin. So this is a really big idea uh, that Bickford has. And this is such like a weirdly specific moment um, in the Gilded Age in America of American optimism where we can just come up with these big, brilliant ideas, make them happen, and they'll solve thorny issues of the day with just one fell swoop. Needless to say, uh, we did not adopt Bickford's currency system, um, although, you know, it, it, it harkens to uh, other modern currency systems that do share a currency like the euro. So Bickford had this idea, but he's not the only one to come up with the idea for a universal currency system in the 19th century. He, he is one of many, but he is a Vermont-born uh, inventor of a universal currency system. So thanks for joining us today. Make sure you're following the Vermont Historical Society on social media and check out our website, vermonthistory.org, for more about our collections and Vermont history.